now come to the second part of this lecture in this part we will discuss how we can easily differentiate between the ophthalmoscope and the retinoscope here i placed a ophthalmoscope and retinoscope of different brands brand means for example if you are using a phone if you are using a mobile phone uh, the one brand is iphone the other brand is something and the other brand is oppo so brand doesn't matter the main concern is phone the main concern is our phone similarly the brand is not our concern okay our main focus is that to understand what is the main construction of the retinoscope or the ophthalmoscope okay the first difference between the ophthalmoscope and retinoscope is that the length of the instruments the length of both instruments this is the ophthalmoscope and this is the retinoscope okay so here you can easily identify the length of both instruments okay the length of the ophthalmoscope is shorter than the length of the retinoscope the length of the retinoscope will always be greater than the length of ophthalmoscope okay so this is our general view so after it we need to understand the construction before going to retinoscope we need to understand the construction of the ophthalmoscope because if we learn about the construction of the ophthalmoscope then it is easy to learn about the retinoscope okay so this is a ophthalmoscope this part of ophthalmoscope this is a part of ophthalmoscope this is called handle of the ophthalmoscope okay and this is called head similarly in this this is called handle of uh, retinoscope and this is the head of the retinoscope okay so here it is a bulb you can see here it is a bulb okay in handle uh, there are two things there are two main things if you open the handle if you open the handle like this anti clockwise there there is inside a battery okay so this is a rechargeable battery okay so after putting it and rotating it clockwise to tight it so after placing the head of this ophthalmoscope on this handle of the ophthalmoscope next thing is that how we can turn on it how we can turn on it we can turn on it by rotating this switch by rotating this switch look at here if i rotate this then it will on okay so if i am rotating clockwise it will on and i am rotating anti clockwise then it will off okay so the main difference between the ophthalmoscope is that if i turn on it then you can see here there are the lenses there are lenses if i rotating this dial you can see here there are several lenses placed in it okay but there are no lenses built in the of the uh, retinoscope the other difference between the ophthalmoscope and the retinoscope is that ophthalmoscope has a filters ophthalmoscope has a filters look at here this is a yellow light okay which we are commonly used but, but if i want to change my filter for uh, diagnosis purpose i can change it okay so we will learn three major differences we will learn three major differences between the ophthalmoscope and the retinoscope ophthalmoscope has a lenses inside it which we can change by rotating this dial and ophthalmoscope has a filter which we can change okay but if the retinoscope doesn't has any filters retinoscope doesn't has any lenses built in it okay and the last thing is that the length between these two instruments the main construction of the retinoscope for all the brands are same but a uh, little differences uh, which may vary from brand to brand so if i rotate if i rotate to turn on it you push this button you push this button and rotate then it will turn on okay if you want to control the intensity of the streak the, the light coming and hitting on this paper this is called streak the light coming from this called streak this is streak so if you want to uh, control the intensity of streak then you can control from here okay i can control the in intensity of streak by this rotatable knob okay this is a head of the retinoscope in the head of the retinoscope there is a rotatable structure which uh, is moving up and down and which is a rotatable if you can see this is rotatable structure this is a rotatable structure so this structure is called sleeve of retinoscope this structure is called sleeve of the retinoscope okay so if i turn on it if i turn on it and if i am moving 
this leaf down if i i moving this leaf down then look here the light coming from the light coming from this retinoscope is a divergent light and this effect is called plane mirror effect okay so if i rotate this sleeve you can see here the axis of the streak will change this is 90 axis and this is 180 axis you can rotate the axis of the streak you can rotate the axis of the streak by rotating this sleeve okay so this is a plane mirror effect which in which light rays are divergent if this sleeve is moving up if you can see here if this sleeve is moving up then the light rays falling on this paper is convergent is convergent and this effect of this retinoscope is called concave mirror effect okay if the light rays coming from the retinoscope is convergent then it is called concave mirror effect and if light rays are divergent if light rays are divergent then this, this is called plane mirror effect so if this sleeve is down the retinoscope will produce plane mirror effect if sleeve is up then the retinoscope will provide a concave mirror effect okay so the other thing is that there is a condensing lens inside the there is a condensing lens inside the head of the retinoscope okay so if i show you you can see here this is a bulb of the retinoscope and here is a condensing lens look at that you can see here this this moving structure is called condensing lens of the retinoscope this moving structure is called condensing lens of the retinoscope so if my sleeve is moving down then the distance between the light bulb then the uh, distance between the bulb of retinoscope and the condensing lens is less if i moving again i am repeating that if i am moving this sleeve down if i am moving this sleeve down then the distance between the condensing lens then the distance between the condensing lens and the bulb will shorter will shorter what does it mean it mean that if the distance between the condensing lens and the light bulb is shorter then it will produce a plane mirror effect and if i am moving this sleeve up and if i am moving this sleeve up then the distance between this condensing lens and the light bulb is greater the distance is greater so it will produce concave mirror effect here you can see a button this is called a diffuser button this is called diffuser button what does it mean it means that for example if i want to my streak intensity the intensity of the streak is low is low look at that if i move up the intensity the intensity of the light is minimum look at this streak if i on the diffuser button then it means the intensity of the light will minimum so after that there is also a mem cards in the box there is mem cards which is used in dynamic retinoscopy which we will discuss in further lectures okay these are the mem cards these cards are called mem cards or they are also called fixation cards okay they they are used for the dynamic retinoscopy which we will discuss in further lectures okay so i hope now all the things are clear to you now you are able to easily differentiate between the ophthalmoscope and retinoscope okay this is all about the today's lecture we will discuss further concepts in detail about the retinoscope in further lectures till then goodbye